Um, we told you that we would be coming back with part two today. We are in the same clothes, but it's a new day. So it is a new day with new masses. Do not switch off the television thinking it is what happened yesterday. No, 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 no. We have continued because we are going to be away in Rwanda. And uh, for those of you who want to travel with us, the information is on the screen. Information. Uh, we are going to have a wonderful time. Uh, the program is power packed with generals of God. Hallelujah. Amen. So um, this is part two of our recording, and today we are addressing a. a, a a topic that we have not yet addressed as the marriage panel. But I have addressed it in my sermons, I think, once. And this is comparison. And this is eating at the core of the Pentecostal church. And it is no doubt eating at the core of our marriages. Every marriage is different. Should I compare my marriage to another? Should, would I, do I, should I want my husband to be like somebody else's husband? Should I, do I want my wife to be exactly like, like Pastor Luwama's wife? There is so much comparison. And we are living in a generation and an era of comparison because there is social media, of course. And there is comparison every Everywhere. People have icons online, they have icons on TV, they have icons, so, and, and everybody wants to be like those icons. But every marriage is different. Every wife will be different. Every husband will be different. And now people have even come out and come out for uniform guidelines for the bedroom because they are following an icon. So somebody is going to tell you what works in their bedroom and then you are going to go and do this. And but everyone is different. And, and, and we are all beautifully and wonderfully made. So we want to talk about comparison. Now why should I compare my husband to another man? Why should I compare my wife to another woman? Uh, Many people have set out set out to destroy their, 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 their wife's uh, self-esteem or their husband's egos because of comparison. You want your wife to, to, to do things the way Pastor Esther does her thing. And why can't you dress like so and so? Why can't you uh, um, um, talk like so and so's husband? And every time there is comparison, there is lack of satisfaction. Because you you are you you are aching to have what you don't have. Comparison has turned some people into copycats. 
I remember when I said, you know, when I had twins. I did not set out to have twins. I just had twins. <laughs> but there was someone who kept on saying, Someone was angry and demanded that I have to give birth to twins. And the, the more they said it, the more it didn't happen. You know, and then they had children and children look, hoping that they would get those twins. And the wife would say, I am not desperate for twins. Why does my husband keep on doing that? Is it because you people have twins? The, the comparison was making her so uncomfortable. And other pastors are marrying wives and tailoring their wives according to a specific wife in the ministry. And so many wives are under pressure to perform. Others are shying away from being pastors' wives because she doesn't want to be brought to the scene and forced to talk, forced to preach. And then other 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 women look at you know forget what their husband can afford and you know they look at a school somebody else is taking their children and they want to take them, their children to that school. And young ladies are putting a lot of demand on the men. Probably comparing yourself to, you know, people who have worked 30, 40 years, who have this and that. And they, they, there's a lot of due pressure. And I remember one time I talked about, uh, you know, um, that comparison and, and, uh, and, and st because it's, it breeds strife. It breeds competition. Some people have thrown out their wives because they were hoping the next catch would be a certain wife. You know, would look like somebody else's wife. And it hasn't worked out. And there is another uh, uh, lady who went to, to the tabloids and claimed she was educated, claimed she had gone to Makerere. You know, uh, it, there is a lot of, 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 of comparison, a lot of strife, and people are trying to be who they are not. Being or not being educated was not going to change her, her position, but she wanted to, to sound educated. Because there was a certain, you know, there were colleagues or a certain group of people in, you know, in, in, in a place she feels she is at. Yeah. Who, who were educated and she felt I should also say I am educated. Two Corinthians chapter 10 verse 12 says not that we dare to classify or compare ourselves with some of those who are commending themselves. But when they measure themselves by one another and compare themselves with one another. They are without understanding. So Paul says people who compare and copy and want to be who they are not uh, don't have understanding. Those who want to be somebody else have no understanding. It is okay to have a role model. It is okay to have, uh, you know, to, 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 um, to follow someone. But when you begin to compare themselves to you, to, com to compare yourself to them, 
you are without understanding because there is a reason why God made you you also God takes us from glory to glory sometimes we want to be who we are going to be in 20 years and you are pushing your spouse to, to, to do what another person is doing and it is you know it is it is um it's 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 not it's not healthy so should we compare our marriages to others no and I'm going to start with my own testimony I'm going to be very 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 honest and frank me I cannot compare my marriage to other people's marriages and you will understand and, and, and we have different rules and different you know different viewpoints at home uh, from other homes for example in other homes the wife's are supposed to be conscious of, of who their husbands associate with. Especially if they are women. And, uh, and, and of course, when, if, your wife, if your husband is, stays out for a long time with other women, you would be concerned. But in my home, that cannot happen. Because most congregations in the world are are 60% women. So I cannot just make myself, you know, uh, um, uh, uh, try and manipulate my husband. We're going to talk about manipulation, by the way, um, uh, on, on one of our next prob programs. But I cannot force my husband not to relate with the congregation. My husband is a people person. That is his calling. I cannot say I don't want to see any girls here. I cannot say don't talk to a woman or a girl. Because that will mean don't talk to the congregation. But if your husband is a lawyer per se, you can you can control the amount of girls coming in and out. So I cannot stand and and say, he, I wish my husband was like so and so's husband. He doesn't talk to women. He's, uh, he's locked in. Our members of staff, I, I, I think they are more women than men. So they will at any one moment, my husband will have to talk to a woman. But there are some men who say, eh, hey, and it's understandable. There are men but for me, they don't accept me to speak with women. Chick it, chick, chick, because, because first of all, you are a barber. Baba, Oli Musazi Wanviri. Amen. Sorry, O Salamviri. Zaba Sajja. Zaba Sajja. Kati Muchao wa Gamanto Yogeda Nabakazi. If the wife restricts you that don't speak to women, that is achievable. But you cannot tell the pastor, do not speak to women. Tosobala Gama Musumanti, Chiviato Yogeda Nabakazi. Not compare myself to a, a, a Baba's wife. I cannot compare myself to an electrician's wife or an engineer's wife. Because my husband will, will always speak to women. My husband will always pray for women. My husband will always counsel women. Except that maybe their guidelines set by the 
ministry where he doesn't do it alone. There are people in the room as he counsels and prays. Um, so I cannot compare myself and say I wish I was like that. Um, I, I, in the early days of our marriage, uh, my husband traveled a, lo a lot. Even to the villages of Uganda. And I was at home raising the children. And, 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 and trying to see that they had something to eat and all that. Most people have time, you know, time limits. Time limits don't come home when it's past. Nine. Please don't return after midnight. You, you are lucky if he comes back at two. Sometimes the team may get tired. And they decide to sleep there. No, I think the microphone is okay. It was my problem. I was knocking it on the phone. So, um, uh, there was no way I can compare. My roommate, um, when we had gotten out of campus, I married my husband, my past, my husband who was in the Chiwempe, but my roommate married an engineer. My roommate and my best friend married an engineer who already had a house. And they were built, they were now begin he was now beginning to build on his dream house. He already had his own house. Now he was building his dream house. So I, I, I got married to my husband. He was worshipping God there in the papyrus reed shelter. We did not have land even for a house. So we went, we rented a semi-detached place. And my, my friend who was now married to an engineer. Remember we had both been to campus, we were in the same, we had been to the same um, um, senior secondary school we were now at campus you know first year second year third year we were roommates so she would come to see me driving her four wheel she would drive out of her husband's house and then she would come and see me in my small rented place and I was living with the choir I was living with the ushers and some of the pastors she would tell me let's go and sit outside because she did you know there was no privacy I was, ours was like a dormitory and I could see that her life was totally different from mine and there were days when I did want to be her but I, there was no way I could start telling my husband katiwange nterawe nyumba mangu ogule for will and to compare my to force my husband build me a house buy me a four wheel so that I can drive off and visit my friends because the Bible says for every purpose under the heavens there is a season there is a time and the Bible says so I, I, I cannot compare myself she's, in, she's walking in her season but one day my season would come but people compare themselves to each other and even begin to hate each other if you cannot be them you become angry with them 
I know someone who tried to be so much like Pastor Kanja and ended up hating him. And now he got now a punching line. You know, Pastor Kanja became his punching line. But everybody was saying, but this guy used to try and copy Pastor Kanja so much. How and he still he still does, eh? How how come he's trying to copy someone who is so bad and filthy? It's because he could not copy enough. And when he every time he tried to copy and it didn't work out, he would be angrier. And angrier. Because God has made you who you are for a reason. And he has put you in a certain place. To be who you are called to be. So you trying to be me. Let me give birth to twins. But again, you also by the way, you can buy two surrogates. <laughs> yes. But surrogates, baby. Never Baku sigaza, baku sigaza. Yo pa yo no They will hide them, and you return as if you've given birth at the same time. But why do go through that? Me, I did not do it. Why do you tamu kavuyo na na kubwetyo? Why do why go through that? And so then, you, then you buy a child who is picking up the habits of the surrogate. Katino zala kana kaine mizajoli go akuzali. Go akuzali. Go akuzali. The person you bought to give birth for you. And yet God has given people like you know, uh, Obama is not a twin. Obama simurongo. Um, Clinton was not a twin. I would say they are presidents of the most powerful nation in the world. So, they, uh, so why are you trying so hard to, to fit in a, 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 spe a specific space? Paul says when we compare ourselves to, eat, to, to one another, we are like we don't understand. Now I look back, if I had wanted to be like that, that my friend who was married to an engineer, honestly. I would have missed out on so much. Because God had a bigger plan for me. At one time she told me, you know what? They're selling some land. She, her husband had built in Tinder. And she said, you know, we, we can get, you can, you, I, I can raise half the money and then you can look for some money maybe from, from I don't know where and, and, and we can get you like a decimal or something so that you at least have something and then your, your husband will have the urge to put up something small. Because you know, she loved me. And, and from her point of view, I wasn't leading the life she had expected me to lead. But I knew for sure that her life is not my life. I was happy for her. But I was satisfied in what I was. Hallelujah. And after Sometime her and her husband, when we were still in the Chiwempe, they left the church. They did not go, they did not go because they hated us. But they 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 felt they you know they had grown to one extent above the Chiwempe, above, you know, these are these are both professionals, and they felt that they had grown above it. And uh, according to them, you know, they were things, and they're my very good friends, so I can say these things freely, because Amen. they would tell me some of the things that they thought, this is disorganized, this is dust here, there is this and that. But that is where we were then. And only God knew where he was taking 
you cannot manipulate the timing of God because you will miss out on what God has for you so many times I thought of getting out of ministry and pursuing a professional career like her so that I could they could I could they could be a semblance of resemblance at least yeah, so that I can look alike maybe maybe I can drive myself or maybe I have hopes I have built my a small thing there but comparison breeds strife comparison breeds jealousy comparison breeds hatred because every time you compare yourself to somebody and you begin to compete you think I can do it better and the moment you don't do it better you begin to hate you, hate, you, you begin to hate yourself and this is everywhere not just marriage but we are talking about this in the aspect of you know we are talking about this in, in, in the marriage dimension why are we pushing our spouses to be the person they are not? I think people look at someone and you say, I will marry this person and change them. Into the image that I admire. You would rather be the image you admire. You'd rather marry the image you admire. Don't marry a spouse to change them. Otherwise, you will be like that the one without understanding, the one Paul talked about. Because you compare yourselves. You are without understanding. Again in Galatians chapter 1 verse 10 Paul says For am I now seeking the approval of man Or of God Or am I trying to please man If I was still trying to please man I would not be a servant of Christ The reason we compare ourselves Is because you look at someone who seems has favor or who simply has impressed people and you want to be like them but, but, but your goal for existence should be really to impress Christ, not to impress man. So I was just saying that with my own marriage, people have a time timeline, time, time frames. The wife should not be back before, uh, after nine, you know, it, it should be before nine. Some marriages, you go back and have tea with your husband and then you have dinner with your husband. We don't have that in our marriage. We don't have that time of frame. You know, we can have tea anywhere. We can have tea even here at church. Especially now that the children are grown. And we don't have that. Pastor Kayanja is not uh, at the point where he's telling me, Dayo, Fumba, take a whole buffet. Because I've seen some men complaining. It, it, it's an issue. You know? They used to serve me food on one plate. Men complain. A woman comes out and serves you everything on one platter. We are busy. We work 24 hours. It's unbelievable. We work 24 hours. People won't believe it. So we are not at the point. The only pressure that Pastor Kanya will insert on me, it's time for you to minister. Go preach. 
Genda bakuise wano. They called you for certain engagement go minister. Naye changama ngako duka. He will never tell me run back home. Kola buffet. A e, cook me a buffet. Nyagale bijanja lo bicheke mbaolo ya nja uloka wo mcheke. I mean in a certain bowl. I mean for those my, for, for my husband those types of things are not priorities. E lyo mwami wange byo sibi ebiku because his love is for ministry. O kwagala entunusi ya mutima gwanze mpere. And for him supporting him. E lyo kumuwagira is to support him in the ministry. But now some there are some people who look at me for example at church and they say they this woman when does she cook? 77 I was preaching I would preach I would try to preach at lunchtime and, and sometimes early in the morning lunchtime and then I would even be the one preaching at night I would be say I'm so proud of you because for him that is what is virtuous you know the, the, the virtuous woman had seasons she was a woman of seasons and, and the bible does mention seasons but, but I, there was that season when I, I was at home scrubbing and and maybe trying to, to, to make that buffet except that I was making it for a whole you know <laughs> conglomeration of attendants but right now his demands are not for me to be cooking he demands is for me to work and support him in the ministry. I teach, handle your husband as a baby, wash I'm him. thinking, okay, it's not a bad idea, but I don't think my husband wants me to leave, <laughs> to leave marriage now and go and wash him. Because even in bed, he tells me, Hani Zukuka program abantu bali nse program eh never to banga ban never sane kaita waka wake up people are waiting for the program in other words ne kambuli do gende ku program leave me in bed you rush and go minister yes when we were in the uk he was trying to he was asking you know people are demanding the it's it was like the most viewed program on you know so people are demanding is there any way you can organize some zoom and be on i said no honey i'm on holiday now you know but the uk ku graduation yo mwana ngamba you know so mala kola zoom no kola marriage now if I begin to compare myself to a wife that bathes the husband my husband is supposed to be here every night to minister if I tell him leave Kalamajalon I have to bathe you in the house Overn hey. Overnight, he has to be here at the church the whole night. The man preaches from six, sometimes from eight to, to morning. Hey. Oh, if I, you are now instructing me, you have to take care of him. You bathe him, cut the nails. Um, he is your babe. So that you right now, know. those are no longer my husband's priorities. My husband realized my strengths. And he decided to exploit that strength. And he told me that is the support I want. And by the way, he's my greatest support. I'm better one. Uh, take a TV. Uh, when I'm here on marriage now, he switches on to see. And he sees everything I speak. He takes his coffee as watching the program. Uh, and then you wonder. <laughs> if you see a man abusing the wife, the wife gathers everything on one plate and you say now what's going on because marriages have different demands for different seasons and marriages are different
there is going out for so many couples they want to go out but uleko waliku serena amen there are those couples that need to go out so that they can sit maybe in serena our going out days would have been friday and saturday of which friday is overnight saturday is holy spirit amen day. So most of our outings are spent in each other's offices. Outing is a fembera mu office ya hani. Ah, out to out. You know because we work together no tutumia hiyo kachi. Amen. Tukola fembera ngamba hani. Can we order for what now? You know what to tunenda kwa tutumia hiyo tutumia hiyo chips. Hey, let's get chips and pork. Au twe wadde munenga twe wadde mu office kubanga nino kujja I know we ingi da buli de chiro obanze nino kujja ku lunch time. Amen. We have now we are out. He has to preach in the evening or I, I must preach in the lunch time. Because right now those are the demands of the ministry. Kumanga there is a television bie, session there is this and that. Bie bie tago bo bo we there is a tuno kwa ku television tuno kutukiriza chiri. Once in a while we do go out like on 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 by the way on Valentine's Day when we go out we go out even with our daughters. That's yeah. something that's something that has shocked everybody. Eh Valentine za fenga fa bagale na family so valentine people will tell me but how pastor julia used to see me I'm, i'm looking for a valentine dress my daughters are also looking for valentine dresses so one day the, pastor julia asked my daughters why do you go out isn't this supposed to be like a private time for your mom and dad oh musumba jina gamba tazi nempeke gwana kanesa kaina kaone kwela ka private na bazad ate mwa bana munonya ama daughter said no we've always gone out with them because abana bagamba fatugana na bazad ba family kasera you know because that's that's the time we have with them akoke ka gadde ka tufuna ne bazad ba fe but we again we don't want our daughters to be at a place where they are looking for a man to take them out so the last valentine we arrived all of us were dressed in white in white in red and my husband was the only man in black and me and my twin daughters in red valentine yagwa fena mama ne bawala be bali mu red omwami nga yamba de black atute basatu out so the, the the waiter at the hotel asked my husband waiter mu hotel na abuzo omwami excuse me sir gundi seven sonywa mukatono who are you going to be seated with ani go genda kutula na ye because the hotel had arranged a very good valentine setting hotel nga ye pimpins a setting ya valentino two 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 babiri 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 before we could answer my daughter said we all of us we are <laughs> and so the waiter is saying you mean i bring more tables more chairs waiter na gamba nyongere ko butebe kameza as they said yes they gamba we wow so I, I i when people were telling me isn't this inconvenience i said i'm used to it because this is the way we brought out, up my daughters they are very close to the father mm. so they are not desperate abana tebaya yana techiba isa bubi they are not desperate now to to go with any man they want a far, if they want to go out their father is available so th- those are those are some of the few days when we go out but christmas Hey Christmas Easter Easter I am I cooking for a whole group of people Afubafumbire chibinja chabantu because that is my husband's love is for people for ministry for people okwagala ko mwami wange kuri ebiwereza nabantu Eh atenze waliwo mkwano gwange yangamba ye Christmas ba mutwala bane mamtwale fort poto nabere yo yeka you know my friend told me for half for Christmas the husband takes her to Fort Porter and they stay there alone nze namugamba sobola genda kubera Fort Porter na msajja tubera ano na service nya ku christmas i can't go to Fort Porter with the husband we are normally here with four services on christmas wanga ba abulira my husband service. is sorry four services after the service we go for lunch we also cook food here for everybody they normally cook for the people that cannot come home here at church first we eat 
Netulia. with all the widows and the orphans and then we go home again and then pastor with another group of people they go home and then we eat again and we celebrate Christmas or Easter again so when I because when I was still with my parents that that was that had, that never happened we were a nuclear family um, our father would fly us out of the country for important days with just our mother and, our, and my other siblings but now I can't compare myself and say singa like that I wish I used I can re receive the same treatment as my father was those days. No, mommy, go and I watch go around. The man I'm married to has a church, a ministry. By the way, he doesn't want Easter for him without people is not Easter. Christmas without Christmas, people is not Christmas. Christmas over Easter and Tarina Van to be better. Him In fact, I remember the first Christmas we spent together. I was asking, Who are we going to eat with? Christmas, the Russell of Kubera and the Lifaka Namobu was at Uganda Kuriani. And he said, What to get him by Mulekwa? Nagaba, we go make this Christmas with the orphans. I, th I thought, What? <laughs> But now knowing him, I know what he wants. I cannot I cannot say I wish I was you. And we are different. And the Bible says when we compare ourselves, we are like those who do not know those who have no knowledge be happy with where God has put you I have learned to, 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 to be happy about the place that God has put me and to be me and to be content with being me there are other seasons where, you know, um, I would have wanted maybe to travel with my husband. But 77 days of glory was like a, a full year occupation. <laughs> 24 hour occupation. But I, we had children out of the country who were studying. I think including my son was still abroad then. And so it was me who traveled to check on the children. My husband had to be here. That's madness. I can't be like other women. I, my husband can't move when I'm not when I'm not with him. Saturdays, most Saturdays, Pastor Kanya Beda Mukrused. Because the Saturday in Kola, I have businesses that I have to work Amen. on. Saturday, I can't be at other women whereby the husband will have to take you out. Now, this is my wife. You see the beauty, the clothing. On Saturday, I'm a businesswoman. I work. You know, it's the time to put businesses right. So I cannot, you know, I. I, I, there's no woman who doesn't like that type of setting. We are going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to This is my honey, the wife, my wife, the mother of my children. I speak good about you. But our setting is unique and it works for us. And you know, there was a certain preacher who was preaching and saying, Kakati, you're Pastor Kayanja. Even now that Pastor Kayanja. Why does he move with other people and doesn't move with the wife? You know, I, I feel that that is a very limited form of, of, of thinking or way of life. Because there are times when you, you there, there has to be divided effort. Otherwise, when you all leave one thing, it will fall. Somebody, somebody has to take care of something. Amen. Um, the farm, our farm is how many miles away? Kilometers? Eh? Huh. 
We, it takes three, three hour, four, eh? four hours to get to our farm. So whichever of us says they are going, we will we'll spend a longer time there or maybe even more than a day but we cannot all go because the ministry has to continue so I believe maturity is realizing that somebody else's marriage is different from yours there are some men who say the city are made in Sulem there are those men that will say for me I don't eat boiled food tokos so, you have to wrap it in banana leaves and Actually, steam it. We even had a friend, we have a, a, a joint friend who, who I have always had really, and she's not even a Muganda, but she used to, not that the man was demanding it, but you know, that, that for him that was a need that needed to be met. Amen. Oringa, you know, and 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 he could steam the food every day. But I feel that yes. There are some things you need to be on TV. Programming. If I'm going to be early on TV, then, then I come back for the marriage now lunch hour. <laughs> and you expect me to wake up at 4 a.m. Uh, where are those leaves? I would have been here panicking. I ought to cook and steam food for Pastor K. He doesn't eat this boiled matoke. But there are people who will find it so strange. We have a hotel. Do you know what? We have um, we have a hotel. I'm telling you we have a hotel versus restaurant. Versus restaurant prepares very good matoke. Everything the kind of food you want to eat. So once in a while mommy baba yagadde okulyo oluombe ne toke ne chinye wanga ndi ku TV. I mean how can a husband wake up and say nze it is, yeah, it is, it, it's taking me in one direction. And 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 maybe that may be the will of God for me. Or oh, for you, but my husband is such an is a broad. He's, he, he's, he's so he had a, he has a very broad vision, a very big vision. And there are some things he's, he tells me. Jessica, you know, which to so broke for no moon to Achikuyamba Kochireke. What we have been telling you, tell me, honey, if someone can help you in this angle, in this part of life, leave that, let that person help you there. Because you may choose to say, I have. I can get somebody to help me to host these shows or to preach. But but will that person do what you are doing? Amen. Or you say no gant you back program is no cut le come to mala as hosting a win you try in so core to chocola. Name made in yige beta made in yige. But that food that is rampombos the beta and pombo. The pombos are normally in pombos. So I feel that there are there are things that you know and 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 for, for me, diversification is really easy in my house. It's Amen. not that you know you are oh, yeah, what you know, you know, uh, for us, you can do many things that I don't need. I don't, I won't take source from anyone. Because before my son finished university, I was the one preaching in the day and I was the one preaching at night. No, Amen. During day and night. And then, uh, yes. Even in COVID, by the way. Name COVID nineteen. Kati o a wonga biranti kati. Now uh, when you sing. E chi toji changi saga la umla la chikunya. Really, want anyone to wash my clothes? But for some people, that is the norm, and it's okay for them because that is where their husbands delight. Hey, for them to be. Chala, o mama mo chaya gala chaya nyumi zamu chogwani dokora. But 
I think every home has a need. And right now we are meeting the need in our need in the most untraditional manner. As we are meeting our need in the most untraditional manner. But now because of comparison, even pastors who don't have their 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 wives, even leaders who are not having their wives, and our Jana Yoga public, Jacque Fulanti, Bamunigira, Bakolachi, you know, Amen. that type of thing. But my husband is not that type of person. They bathe them. And yet you, you know that it is it is almost impossible. According to some programs. And some timing. Again, when is your husband happy? My husband, I discovered my husband is most happy when he is having God. And I, I have to make sure. He's most happy when we are both serving God. By the way, my husband is not these men who are so happy about food. You know, they used to tell us the way to a man's heart is through his stomach. But I realized that my husband, for, my, my husband, food can even be a diversion. But when we are serving God, when we are helping, helping, helping people in Karamoja, when we are helping, helping people in Sudan, when we are looking after orphans, that is his love. And it's more than washing him ten times. <laughs> I wash you, I iron your clothes, and you suffer here in ministry. That's not what he desires. But again, I don't despise the people who are doing buffets at home. I don't, because I think that is really a lot of work, and I honor you and respect you for that. Especially every single day. Like those that steam food every day. And those who make sure that you are the one, you know, uh, bringing the, you know, the food to the table. Because for some men, they feel they need that to feel like a man. You know, when somebody, else, when, when, when your wife is like bringing everything. But at the time that I should be, um, bringing food to the table it's, it, it, I, I am recording or doing something and I know people are going to take this and blow it out of context but I've been married for 32 years to the same man so before you take it out of context make sure you are still with the same woman and for more than 32 years yes they are going to because we have a different need now and our need and our love and it took us time to discover it took me a lot of time because when they were getting me ready for marriage that's what they that's what i thought marriage was those are the lectures they taught me that i have to steam the food cook different styles of food every day so that even the juice is trying to... Mm. But then I discovered we were at a point where because we are so busy. <laughs> we can actually fail to take that kind of a juice. And that is why we always say with my husband, when, when people come here for women's meetings, we don't teach them housework <laughs> and, you know, that's not what makes a marriage. A lot of marriage is replenishing the earth. Uh, replenish this, subdue it and, 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 and have dominion over it. To subdue the earth and to have dominion over it. For you to have dominion over this year. How do you reign and subdue it? How do you subdue it? 
you get a volley like this Amen. and you subdue it and build this magnificent building having given birth you have to subdue the earth and have dominion over it for you to subdue and have dominion over the earth that's also another phase but I went through a phase of cooking for my children raising them, taking them to school being at all the PTA meetings and all that but right now as they are grown it's a different phase altogether and I'm enjoying it and by the way at, 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 in, in, um, at, in the lockdown we moved into church we were staying in church with my husband we were staying in church and so we are sleeping at the, in, 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 our, in, in my husband's office. I then I used to cook for him. Now we are staying, we are used to start church. So that phase came where now I was cooking because there was very little to do TV cook. TV Amen. cook. TV to a program. We couldn't we couldn't go to the farm, we couldn't be at chapters, we couldn't be, you know. So it was, you know, so I could do that then. When you are a, a young lady, you have just married. When I had just married my husband, I didn't step on the pulpit. I did not say I must be like Joyce Meyer. No, I grew my children. So comparison. When we compare ourselves one to the other, Paul says you are like those who lack knowledge. God has made you beautiful. Wonderful. Don't compare your marriage to anybody. Now the, the wives to the truck drivers, like they are like pastors' wives. As the pastor's wife waits for the pastor to come out of the crusade. No, 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 I didn't know where a motor omulimogumuze. The wife of the truck driver will wait for the husband to drive the truck back home. And yet a banker, if you're married to a banker, he will come home and have tea. If you mufumberi banker, a jaku de come on your kachai correct. He will help with the children with homework. A jaku yambavana, ne homework oak somero. And 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 he will be there even for dinner. Then that's when you must be a very good mobile visa. Amen. Erecha guru muchina mwena nga kamera muka steamings. But when you are married with a pastor with programs. Then you begin to pressurize him to come home for tea, pressurize him, and that's why that's how, why there's so much strain and stress on so many marriages. Look at someone else's marriage, love it, and treasure your own marriage. <laughs> Pastor Julia. Pastor Julia is going, mm. <laughs> ah, Yeah. Mm. I think that is very powerful, Pastor Jessica. Um, my marriage is, 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 is not the conventional one. <laughs> <laughs> the wife is the last to come in the house. The administrator of the administrator of the Power Ministries, she Master also works in Channel 44. I Channel 44 admin, Gal Power admin, Miracle Center. So, how do you expect a woman like this? And to bathe you and iron your coat. So that 
she leaves you eating atajja programming channel 44 and she comes to program the channel 44 program atajduka komewa kunyige bigere and run back and massage your feet you know i mean hey. if you are married to a woman like that bobanga oli mwami wo muchala nga chikula chuno just take pride of pride you know hakali baru i'm living for rwanda i'm living with her ewe kati musumba jessica agenda rwanda na ya musiba kumugugu bagenda everywhere we go we go together buli jebala gono tamuta whether it is zimbabwe whether it's nigeria whether it, we always fly together baka baba era munnyonyi babiri so I, how do you wake up and say naye ngatonna bakulinya nnyonyi so emizingo nyojirwa hey now you wake up and say before you board that airplane to run and make sure the banana leaves are D ready dishes no so ya wude because i don't want my matoke scratched with the cabbage and all that where is that hey, hey, make sure all the dishes are separated you know and and these days people talk about prepping food but but that's also that can be unhealthy to a certain point you know with all these salmonella and what so they, we don't prep amen you know um uh, but some people do prep food no gama kande ke wo mwami kana take a microwave and what nika chama nga chichi say eliyo liaga nze wayo gona ulira ayomba ti ngumkazi buchimachi nte akunola bechikazi buchuchi tera kusowanye and you are thinking honestly in this day and era anyway pastor julia Thank you very much, Pastor Jessica. Where about Mr. Sumba Jessica? I hope they are still recording. Looks to me like there's no. We are okay. Yes. Okay. Um, this is very powerful. Chena chama. Um, and very a, a very big eye opener. Chena chigula nyama so. Um, when I got married, um, I I I I I felt the pressure to 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 try and be like other people. When na fumbi do na wuli da place o kwa galokubera mo bufumbo nga abalala. Yeah, and uh, because um, with the nature of the work I do, I I I, I work a lot with men. Nature And then I would, I also work long hours. And maybe uh, right from my background, <coughs> growing up, I my ma I never ever saw my mother take time off to sit home. My mother worked all her life. Mama wange yakola obulamwe bonna. And um, she because my father was um, was yes he was a professional but he was, he did not have a, a, a steady job. My mother had to make sure that she took care of the home. Tata wawo yali ya soma nga na iti ya ina mulimu guankala kari la mama ya sala ukola na alabili na maka. And uh, there was, she was always working to make sure that everything we needed was there. Ida mama yali mukozi akakasenti vio nabi tuwa ituwe tagabi ya aliwo. So for me that is the picture I have of, 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 my, of, of, of a wife and a mother. Echo nzo chifana nchenina elio mchala neri mama. And she ensured that we got a good, a, a decent education. She ensured that we had the basics of life. Yakaka santi tufuno kusomo kurunje, tuba nebye tagi sambra. And uh, that she, she, she worked and bought land and built the home until my dad was on his feet. Kati yakaka santi akola na gule taka na zimba umaka paka chitange vya sobolo kuhimili ya kumagurugim. So for me that is the picture I had and my mother raised us thus you don't sit there and, 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 and expect somebody to hand out to you you have to work hard you have to put your hands to something um, then when I came into the ministry I met Patrick and got married and Patrick is not the conventional man. Um, Patrick is domesticated. He will cook, he will clean the house, he will, he will wash if needs to, if, if there is washing to be done. Because he takes care of the children. So, and, and at first I found it awkward. 
na soko lusoka na chila banga mm, shichirunji and um, because my father was a traditional man by the way he, he was not I never ever saw my father in the kitchen or anything umwami wange ye mwami bame abobulombolo samula bakombi ya fumbiro tata wange sorry so at first I would be like no but why can't he be like so and so why can't he be like so and so nkusoka nga brachi tabera nga gundi tabera nga gundi ne gundi but as I as as I I, I I got involved in ministry, and I, 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 having been raised the way I was raised, I realized that if I had a, a man who was the other traditional man who had these expectations. He would be very heartbroken. And then he was not insecure. He's not insecure in who I am. Um, he actually encourages me. So um, I, 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 having come down this road, and having heard what Pastor Jessica said, it had to be Patrick too. Patrick is the right person. And we've never had fights over what he thinks I should do and what I shouldn't do. I can give an example when it comes like on like on Christmas Day, Easter, because of uh, 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 we have these verses, the verses restaurant and what needs to be done. And I have to be there. He's not at all, he doesn't feel, he doesn't put me under pressure. Oh, you must come and do this and you know, no, 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 no. And by the way, my mother raised us to be very domesticated. Amen. Mama, we cook, we clean, we do everything at home. But because of what I have to do, he's like, you no, know, you go and finish what you're doing. Then in the evening, he's like, okay, let's go and see my family. They are family people and they get together as his brothers and siblings. And, you know. And down the road, I've come to appreciate the person God gave me in Patrick. Um, the Bible says in uh, Ephesians chapter 5, I think verse 22, that let, let wives submit to your own husband. Your own husband. So, if you understand, I believe if you understand, uh, Pastor Jessica, there is a time you shared about purpose in marriage. That, that the marriage is for a purpose. First and foremost, to raise a godly offspring. But again, there is that purpose that God has for you as a couple. And, and when you understand that purpose then the, the pressure to try and compare will, will be less I mean I thank God that Pastor Robert has understood the purpose for which Pastor Jessica the, what, the purpose for which they came together as a couple so she, he ensures that he she achieves she, she does that which God purposed for her to be 
in this marriage. Omwami afuba nti omuchalawe atukirize echo katonda chiyamuitira okutukiriza mbufumbo bwabwe. And it has helped me to to sit down and 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 and, and, and appreciate that purpose for which I Julia came into this marriage with Patrick. Era chinyambi okutula wansi ne nsi maruachi katonda yatuga tanze Julia no mwami wang Patrick. And if I understand that purpose and ensure that I'm doing the right thing in the right season um, there is no way there will be strife or um, up the pressure to try and be like other people in Amen Amen Thank you very much, Pastor. Wow, that is so powerful. Actually, you were right. Your marriage is 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 is, is non-conventional. It's like mine. And, uh, and and but we we are having a lot of joy because we are doing what God called us to do. We are walking in purpose. And we are rejoicing in, in, in that purpose. And we have found joy in our purpose. And and this is not because we are discouraging domestic, you know, any any type of domestication but you know if you are to judge a book by its cover and say ah, mkazo, mwami, you may really miss the point because i am sure my husband is happier than all those husbands that are being washed and and and, and, and powdered now, now, she shouldn't even fool you. She's very, very domesticated, and her home eh, <laughs> is thick and span. Eh? Eh, so, eh, so, eh, but knowing that she's able to be a blessing to the whole world has taken a lot of understanding from Pastor Robert that there is a greater purpose than just locking her in that house. Amen. Amen. Pastor Esther. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Pastor Jessica. I'm enjoying the <laughs> listening in. <laughs> and uh, the sharing, the honesty. It is a journey. Discovering what your own marriage is actually going to look like. Because there are expectations that we come with. Maybe because of upbringing. What we have seen in those who have gone before us. And this is how you expect marriage to look. But there is that verse that says godliness with contentment is great gain. Godliness, looking, to the th look, looking at things the way God would look at them. With contentment is great gain. I think that we are all prone to compare. And actually, comparison can be one way you can learn. If you do it with the right attitude. If I've seen that in spite of being a very powerful woman of God, if I have seen that even though Pastor Jessica is a very powerful woman of God. She's a submitted wife. It would help me. Not to, it would guide me. That you can also do the same. But I can't do it in the same way. Because I'm not married to her husband. So contentment means I must examine where I am at. 
be thankful for that and then do the godly thing in that context I remember when my husband used to uh, he still does when he would go for morning glory for purposes of people understanding tell us what time he used to wake up <laughs> because morning glories are like overnights <laughs> except that it's different. You, you are sacrificing a different time Amen. <laughs> okay he would want to, to leave the house like by five because he says the traffic is good at that time <laughs> Amen. Uh, let me repeat this for you Pastor Edward Rubama leads the morning glory at Theatre La Bonita at Theatre La Bonita Amen. A nyumba, the home he leaves the home at 5 a.m. Amen. Uh, the, the lectures they normally give you at that time, Pastor Ed is out of the home. You know, he's out of the home. So you can't you can't you can't tailor make your my marriage according to what works for you. Mm. You know, mm. which means for them their 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 private time and what is different. Because kumi at four years to wake up. Pray and shower off. I hope we are waking up and learning something. Every marriage is different. And we cannot put on a, you know, a, some, we, we cannot pretend to be what we are not. We cannot he may say let me wake up at 3 and, uh -huh. and I prepare myself at, four, at 5 I'm out of the home so um, and for me I'm not a, I'm not a morning person the like case and case. I am so sleepy I don't even want him to talk to me don't don't be telling me things at this time <laughs> and yet my husband likes to declare what his day is going to be like what he's going to do in case he wanted you to do something so usually when he's talking to me in the morning I'm like okay <laughs> <laughs> I'm really a sleepy head in the morning. I'm half... Amen. And at that time, uh, my children were very young. Our children were still very young. Kindergarten. Kati, if he is going to live at that time, he may not even get to say good morning to them because they are still sleeping. And there's a certain season in our lives when our children would say, Daddy goes before we wake up. And then, because you're trying to get them to bed early he, he, you want us to sleep before we see him so I had to learn that you do your thing uh, cut your what do they say cut your thing according to your clothes yeah. Yeah. Don't, so stop trying to be like so and so or like the other person because your situation is this one I had to come to grips with that that I'm also not going to to wake up uh, for me I'm not going to wake up at 3 probably I might stumble into the kitchen at 4.30 if I'm going to do his tea that day and then after a discussion I said but you can also help me do the tea so that <laughs> for me I wake up at 5 and then begin with the children but if I'm going to insist that you know the Bible says Abraham, Abraham trained his children after God <laughs> as if it can only be done in the morning I had to have a mindset shift what is possible what fits his schedule how am I helping the greatest help at that time was to make sure that I prepare the children make sure we are the road waiting for our lift to take us to school so our children used to have half term 
So in one half time I went for the morning glory because they were not going to school that day. Half time we were morning glory. And I thought, let me go this once. So that particular day when I went, someone asked me. <laughs> we are so happy to see you. Mummy, to send you Why don't you come for morning glory? You can't live your life based on other people's expectations. And I like the verse mommy read. If I'm going to live to a, for man's approval. Then I can't live for God's approval. You will have to choose. Whether you're going to be a people pleaser who fits every mold. Or examine where you are at and be the best you right here. I had no words for that brother Bambi. <laughs> and, I asked, and I understood because he's a brother. Maybe if we asked his wife yeah. she might not ask me the same question. <laughs> oh, he is not married and doesn't know that the things that go along with having children and getting them ready. Early in the morning. So you can't live your life for the approval of others. You are who you are. And your husband is also who he is. And the greatest gift you can give him is understanding. And adapting. For, for us as wives, we adapt. To our own husband. Now the amazing thing. <laughs> I've I've lived um, uh, we've we've been neighbors with the uh, pastor Arthur's for seasons in our lives. And I think that as people, uh, me and Pastor Agi are very good friends. But we are also very different women. And the needs of our husbands are different. And so many times, sometimes it's even my children who are telling me, Pastor Agi does this. <laughs> So for you, mommy, when are you going to do it? And I'm just thinking, it's usually I won't I won't name names, but one of my sons in particular, that I have to sit down and explain, you know, I may not be able to do that exactly. There was a season when I was working. The pastor's wife who, who goes to work and Pastor Agi was staying at home. So our paths are quite different. Our financial abilities were quite different. And it was so easy to compare one to the other. But I thank God for um, he, he, when you know that your identity is in Christ <laughs> and not really in what you do and you realize that there are different manifestations of God's grace through another person the, the fact that someone is doing something different doesn't, doesn't make you any less on the way they are looking after their home is different because you have different schedules different it's just different. And they, everyone has a grace to do what they are doing. I thank God that we have been able to stand together, laugh together, because you appreciate your friend for who they are. <laughs> Rather than try to be what they are. So I believe that knowing who you are and that actually you're not even what you do. Because the seasons we've talked about, the doings change. <laughs> At that time it was get up early, take the children to the Lord, do this and do this. And now I am saying I am still I'm still at work. I was counseling women and they're like, 
what's that? Kati it's a muga. different doing. But, but, I am st- but I'm still a mother and I'm still a wife. Nchali mama wabana vangeda, nchali mchala wamami rubwama. And I have learned that I must do the godly thing and be content with where I am. Evangi ze ngwani dokole chogwa katonda matire oruwa uwendi. On the way to where I'm going. Mkubo murukendo reyo jenda ga. And I've been given a, you know, uh, I really love my pastors, Robert and Jessica Kayanja, because they are very, f- they, are, they are who they are unapologetically. Amen. Njagade nyava sumba vangu, Robert and Jessica Kayanja, kwa habari yacho chibari, na tebache nenyeza. And you don't know how that gives us freedom. To also allow ourselves to be the expression of God's grace that we are, because that's all we can be. O kwe ganyo kole sa echi sacha katonda kubanga yacho chetutuwebo edwa. I can't be Pastor Jessica. <laughs> but I can be the best Pastor Esther. <laughs> and you are. See, I can be the best me. <laughs> and celebrate that and learn to celebrate the strengths of others as well. And not have to be who they are. So I think comparison becomes a problem. When you let another person be your standard, and feel that the only way you're right is if you're doing what they are doing. And that means you have to be flexible and learning and unlearning different things in different seasons. But when your identity is that I'm a child of God, I'm accepted in the beloved. Then you don't have to live this life of proving a point because I think many of these things people are trying to prove a point. <laughs> I have to prove that I can do this. I have to prove that I'm a good wife. I have to prove that yeah, I'm domesticated. I have to prove, you know. Mm. Even in ministry, I have to prove that I'm a good minister. You don't have to prove. <laughs> you just have to do what God has asked you to do. As, as best as you know how. And rejoice and celebrate others for being who they are. I'm doing the best they can do. So it is, uh, I think it's a lesson in humility to know that this is where I am right now. This is what I can do right now. And I believe God for better. But I'm where I am right now. I'm happy and I'm learning to do the best I can do. Amen. Let's, let's give uh, Pastor Esther Pafu hand. Uh, we are going to go into a time of giving. And uh, do remember that the mass weddings, I think on the screen they can show the mass weddings. We are preparing for them. Uh, we dress the brides, we, we, we give them their suits, we make their buffet, as you can see it happening. And we know that as you give, God will give it back. Down shaken together shall men give unto our bosoms. Let's pray. Father in heaven, want to thank you so much for your glory and your power. We know that according to your word, it's not a sin to give with expectation to receive. And as we give, let it be given unto us good measure, pressed down, shaken together, shall men give unto our bosoms. And we are praying again, O oh God, that you will give us humility to accept who you are and where you have put us. Help us to determine purpose in our marriages. Who do you want us to be? Who do you want us to serve? And Father, what do you want us to be? May the Spirit of God speak.
Omoya wa mkama yogere in our hearts. Mitima jafu. May he speak to the hearts of our spouses. Ila yogere elie mitima jaba galu wa bafem. And we will glorify you and thank you. Mkama tunagulumiza na tukwebaza. In the mighty name of Jesus. Mourinye liya kusto yesu. We have prayed. To serve you. Amen and amen. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Remember the number is on the screen. Jukile namba kwa gwando kwele zansigeli kuscreen yao. We love you. Tuba gana nyo. And do we will see you tomorrow as we watch this video we will be at the mission at, at the Rwanda mission Moses said to God we do not want to go if you will not go with us and that is our prayer yes, we covet all your prayers and all your fastings for us as we stand on the grounds of Rwanda because we do not want to go in our own strength may God touch us and use us for such a time as this God bless you and bye